Hello and welcome to episode two of Eye of the Hurricane, your ticket inside the inner sanctum of Tasmania's newest sporting team, the Hobart Hurricanes. Well, what a start to the season it's been for the boys going into the Christmas break undefeated with two wins. The team's inaugural match was against the Perth Scorchers at the Wacker and this is how it unfolded. A new team, a new competition and a new era for Australian cricket. But it was veteran batsman Ricky Ponting who got the Hurricanes off to a flying start. It's through the leg side. It's clipped that beautifully. Ricky Ponting. Hogg won't get it. The former Australian skipper made 17. And this will go to mid off. It's out. Opening partner Phil Jakes fell for 18 soon after. Through the leg side. Phil Jakes and in the deep and gone. Enter Travis Burt. And nothing on that. It's gone a long way. That's a big hit into the win and it's still gone for six. That's on the roof. The left-hander was at his explosive best as he made his way to 40. Import O.A. Shah also keen to impress. Runouts became a problem for the Hurricanes, besides last three wickets falling for just one run to be all out for 140. In reply, our bowlers were focused. It's out. The first one goes down for the Scorchers. Ben Hilfenhaus on fire. That's number two for the Hurricanes. At one stage, the Scorchers were 5 for 44. A brilliant spell from Xavier Doherty and some expert bowling from a cult hero sealing the 31-run win. So that is the end of the game, and Ron Navid has mopped up the innings. They had a really deep batting order, so uh, um, you know we were thrilled to, to come away with a really strong bowling effort. You know, obviously, our batting can improve. We'd like another 20 runs on our score, but uh, if we can make it 160 more often than not, I think we'll defend it. So it was a 31-run win in the opening match. Travis Burt blasting 40 with the bat and Ben Hilfenhaus was the best of our bowlers with remarkable figures of 2 for 10. But the Hurricanes saved their best work for the next match in round two, which was right here at Blunston Arena or Hurricane House. More than 8,000 poured through the turnstiles to witness our big win over the Sydney Sixers. As fans queued in their thousands outside, the Hurricanes were treated to a rock star reception as they hit Blunston Arena for the first time. John Wells reached 17 before Dominic Thornley made the breakthrough. Phil Jakes pulled out some party tricks and nobody was safe when Travis Burt arrived at the crease. He goes Errol and he's got it. There's the first six for the night, straight into the window. And there were more where that came from. Oh, that's on the onside again and that's gone. Oh, that's gone. See you later. Burt was eventually dismissed on 65, Jake shortly after for 73, the Hurricanes reaching 3 for 169 from 20 overs. In reply, Ben Hilfenhaus got the party started. Then the next ball, this. Ben Lachlan was impressive. As Rana Airways touched down. The import ended up on a hat trick, eventually claiming four wickets. A convincing win. They go to the top of the table in the KFC Big Bash. If we can maintain this sort of form, we're going to be pretty hard to beat. The thumping of the sixes was set up by 73 from opener Phil Jakes and an awesome 65 by the informed Travis Burt. But it was the people's mullet, the flying doormat Rana, that caught everyone's attention with figures of four for 22. While Rana has become everyone's favourite son, another of our imports is also set to create headlines this summer. I caught up with Owe Shah just after he arrived in Tasmania last week. Owe joins me now. Mate, thanks very much for your time and welcome to Tasmania. When did you get here and uh, have you settled in nicely yet? Yeah, I got here yesterday morning. Um, I tried to stay awake whole day yesterday, which was more or less impossible. Uh, but yeah, I got in yesterday morning. Uh, I've settled in very nicely, thank you very much. I've uh, been made to feel very welcome here. Tell us, do you know much about your teammates that you'll be playing with? I've heard of a few of the guys. I uh, played a fair bit of cricket with Ryan Veet, played a fair bit of cricket against Phil Jakes. Apart from that, I've heard and sort of watched and played against a little bit against people like uh, Ben Hilfenhaus, Ricky Ponting. Um, I've seen Jason Kersher and Xavier Doherty obviously play test cricket and stuff like that. So that's as far as I know, I'm afraid. You've just come from South Africa where you've been in some pretty good form. Tell us about that. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, I feel I'm... Uh, hitting the ball reasonably well um, and you know last few games in South Africa went really well for me so I can't complain about that uh, so yeah hopefully I can transfer that form from 50 over into the shorter form of the game. Had you heard much about Tasmania before you were approached by the Hurricanes? 
I've been there a couple of times uh, with, the, uh, with the England team um, and a friend of mine, Ryan Tindiscata, played here last year. Uh, but that's about it. Um, but I was just very excited to hear uh, from the Hobart Hurricanes via my, through my manager uh, just to get an opportunity to obviously play in the Big Bash. And you mentioned Ryan and Avid before. Tell us what you think about his hair. <laughs> yeah, it's different. Huh? Uh, it's, uh, I've played against him for a while now and he's gone through all these different hairstyles and now he's... He's gone the mullet, I think. Um, yeah, it's different, I guess. I'll, I'll try to be as polite as I can. Oh, well, thanks very much for your time and good luck for the Big Bash season. No problem. Thank you very much. Well, that's it for another edition of Eye of the Hurricane. You can keep up to date with us on Twitter using at Hurricanes BBL. We're also on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Hobart Hurricanes or visit the website www.hobarthurricanes.com.au. The team's next match is against the Strikers at the Adelaide Oval on December the 28th. And don't forget our next home match right here at Blunston Arena on New Year's Day, January 1st against Chris Gale and the Sydney Thunder. Until our next episode, I'm Brent Costello. Merry Christmas and go Hurricanes.